Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. So I don't know what it's like where you guys live. You'll have to let me know, but where I live, it is winter. It is cold and dreary. Today is like the first sunny day we've had in what feels like weeks and I'm embracing it, but it's freezing outside. It's like 18 degrees. So I have just been wanting all things glowy. I used to avoid all glowy products. I wanted everything matte and I still like mattifying products, but what I've been loving lately are things that just kind of make my skin look really healthy and glowy without being too over the top. So whether you have oily skin or dry skin, I think you will love these products. I wanted to share things that I will be reaching for in the winter time, but really all year long just to give me that glow that I'm wanting. So I have some really hydrating complexion products, some really pretty glowy cheek products that don't enhance texture, some nice options for the lips, the eyes. So I can't wait to share them with you guys in today's video. I just thought I would do a roundup on all of the products that I've been loving and I'll be reaching for all year long to give me that glow, not just during the spring and summer. I feel like people always talk about glowy products once the weather changes and it's a little bit warmer, but I need them now because I feel like my skin has been a little bit dry, which is new for me. So I need hydrating glowy options. So let me know what you recommend. So let me start with a few complexion products. So in the past, I've always loved really full coverage matte foundations, and I've kind of moved away from that over the past year or two. So there are a few glowy products that I've been loving that actually have lighter coverage. The first one is the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. So I have the shade LG6. I will do close-up shots for you guys and swatch everything so you can see what it looks like. But this is just such a good everyday foundation. This comes in 35 shades. So it has hyaluronic acid in it. So I just find that it looks really smooth on the skin. It's definitely a buildable light to medium coverage foundation. You can go in with a sponge and really sheer it out. And if you build it up a little bit, you can get like a good medium coverage finish. But I like this because it looks like skin on my skin. It doesn't look too heavy or cakey, and it just has a really nice natural finish. It blends out so easily. I love applying it with a brush and just blending it into my skin, and the finish looks so nice. It wears really nicely throughout the day. It doesn't cling on to any dry areas, and even on my oily skin, I do find that it lasts pretty well. So this has been one of my go-tos. I think I tried it last spring for the first time, and I enjoyed it all year long but especially lately because I just find that it's a little bit more natural looking on my skin rather than a full coverage matte foundation which can look a little bit too intense for me. Another product that I've been loving which was actually kind of a surprise to me is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. So I have the shade 15 Melrose. This looks so nice on the skin. I like to apply this with just my fingers. I'll take it and smooth it onto the skin and it gives your skin such a gorgeous just beautiful luminous natural natural finish. Now if you do have oily skin, it's not going to last as long on your skin as a more mattifying product, but it just looks so natural and I think it is such a nice option for everyday wear. If you're not going to go in with foundation and you don't need too much coverage, this is really nice. And surprisingly for a tinted sunscreen, it does have a good amount of coverage. I think it's just enough to kind of even out my skin tone, cover any redness, and maybe just blur the skin a little bit, but it definitely allows my natural skin to show through. I do have a good amount of freckles, which you can definitely see through this product. So I love using this product on an everyday basis when I might not want to wear a lot of makeup, but I just want a little something to kind of even out my skin and protect my skin as well. So I have been so pleasantly surprised by this. This next product is actually an older favorite. I've loved it for a really long time, but I recently repurchased it and fell back in love with it. It is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. This looks so good on the skin. And if you are looking for a glowy foundation, that stays in place well, this is such a great option to try. It has a little bit more coverage than the other two products that I recommended. I'm wearing this one today. So it definitely evens out my skin tone a little bit more, but I do have a lot of freckles on my cheeks and you can still see those through this foundation. And what I like about this foundation is in person, like when you're when you see my skin in person, it looks like skin. This wears so well throughout the day. So even though my skin might look a little bit oily at the end of the day, it actually stays in place really well for more of a glowy foundation. I would say this is like a true medium foundation that you can build up a little bit more. I don't typically get like true full coverage with it, but it just looks so good. It blends out evenly, it stays in place well, and I just cannot get enough of this. So this is such a great option too. Now, if you're anything like me and you live in a colder climate, it can be hard to 
get that like natural sun-kissed glow, especially if you're trying to avoid sun damage anyway. And self-tanner products can be so tricky. I always end up looking orange or streaky every single time. So I was really excited when I heard about this brand Wind and I started using this product. So I do wanna say thank you to Wind for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They have a really nice skincare product range which I've been testing out and really enjoying, but my number one recommendation is this product. It is the Wind Eureka Sun Instant Glow Tinting Water. Eureka Sun is honestly just like summer bronze in a bottle, but it looks so natural on the skin. It's a hydrating tinting water that basically gives you like a healthy radiant tan without the risk of sun damage. It's buildable, it's really gradual, so you don't have to worry about your skin looking orange, and there are no streaks or self-tanner scent when you use this product. So there are a couple of different ways to use this product. I typically just apply two or three drops into my hands and apply it directly onto my skin, and I think that works really well for me. It's so flattering on different skin tones. I've seen a bunch of different videos where people are using this, and it never looks orange or streaky. You can use additional drops to increase the depth of color, or you can use less if you want something a little bit softer. After, and as you apply this each day, the color builds gradually. So you're left with a really natural bronzed effect. So here's the before, before I even went in with this product. And then here's the after, after I used it for about a week and applied it to my skin. Just a quick note, make sure to rinse your hands after application, but you can apply this on the face, the neck, the chest. I typically wear sweaters during the winter time. So I love using this on my face and my neck just to kind of bronze up that area. The second way that I like to apply it is by mixing it with skincare. So you can mix it with a serum, a moisturizer, and oil. Like I said, Wynn does have some really great skincare products I've been testing out, so I really love their Medina Dew Melting Rose Water Cream. This is so lightweight but incredibly hydrating. It just feels like you're applying the most hydrating moisturizer to your skin. It sinks in quickly and it leaves your skin looking so glowy. So I love this product. Now if you like a true glowy look, I would recommend mixing it with a few drops of oil. The Marrakesh Light Illuminating Magic Oil gives your skin such a glowy look and it sinks in nicely, but it leaves your skin looking incredibly glowy and feeling so hydrated. And this smells really good. It just has like this light warm scent to it that I enjoy so much. So these are great options to use to mix in with Eureka Sun as well. The third way I like to use this is just by mixing in a few drops to my foundation. So I'll mix it with one of the foundations I recommended. It's such a nice option if you have a foundation that's just a little bit too light for you because it just adds that natural bronze radiance to it. I do have a coupon code for you. So if you use the code Andrea20, you can get 20% off of your wind order. And they do ship internationally, which I wanted to mention for all of my international subscribers. The Eureka Sun is normally $35. With my code, it's only $28. And that's a really good deal in terms of value because you only need two or three drops. So one bottle will last such a long time. It's vegan, cruelty-free, carbon neutral. Like I said, it is currently a wintertime essential, but I know heading into the spring and the summer, I'll be reaching for this as well. It just gives you such a beautiful beautiful, natural looking glow. And I love that it's buildable, it's customizable. It really is such a daily staple. I wanted to mention a few blushes that give your skin just like a really beautiful, natural, luminous glow. Obviously cream blushes and cream products in general do tend to look a little bit more luminous on the skin but I wanted to mention a few other formulas. So Mel Cosmetics has a formula that is so nice if you like almost like a blush highlighter hybrid, something that just looks incredibly glowy on the skin. But what I like about this formula is that it doesn't enhance texture. It just makes your skin look very smooth, really luminous. These are the Digital Dust Duo Blushes. I have two different options. So I have Raw Honey, which is really nice. I typically love to wear this during the winter. It's a little bit cooler toned, a little bit more pinky. You can also use these as highlighters as well. But I just love them as blushes, especially on days when I want like a true intense glowy look. And then I also have Queen Bee. This one is kind of like a bronzer blush hybrid or like a bronze a bronzer blush highlighter hybrid. It's like the best of all three because you get like that warm glowy look and it just looks so, so pretty on the skin. So if you are someone who does love a true intense luminous glow, not really anything too subtle, something a little bit more intense, you'll really love this formula. It just glides on the skin. I typically use a little bit more of like a dense brush when I'm applying it because they do look a little bit more subtle on the skin, but you can definitely build them up. Another great option if you want a glowy look, but you want a powder blush, would just be baked blushes. M Cosmetics has a really nice formula. This is their Heaven's Glow Blush and I have the shade Faded Clementine. I definitely want to pick up another shade because this just looks so pretty and natural on the skin. I just find 
mentioned that this, again, gives your skin a beautiful luminous glow, but it doesn't enhance texture. The shade that I have is definitely more on the subtle side, so I like this on days where I don't have a lot of makeup, but I still want just like a natural glow because instead of reaching for a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer, I'll just use this product. A more affordable option would be the Milani Baked Powder Blushes. These look so pretty on the skin. I've been using them for years and years. They have a bunch of different colors to choose from, and I like these because they're a little bit more buildable than the M Cosmetics formula. I only have one shade from M Cosmetics, but I find that that one is very, very subtle. You can build these up to get a little bit more color. I also have like a really colorful shade. This one is called Peach of Me. I don't use this one as often, but this one can be really intense on the cheeks. And again, they're just kind of marbled with a really beautiful just like glowy highlight shades. So you really get like a true glowy look. These have almost a little bit of shimmer mixed in, but that's why I do love them because they look so pretty and glowy on the skin. I don't even wanna know how many times I've said the word glowy in this video. I keep going to say either glowy or luminous and I need to think of another word, radiant. That might be a good option, <laughs> but I apologize because I know that I've overused the word glowy. If you are intimidated by cream blushes, but you want the look of a cream blush, then I definitely recommend the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. I've really been enjoying these for probably the past year. I just find that they're really easy to apply. I either use just like a regular blush brush or I'll use my fingers to apply them. So I will swatch a couple of the new shades for you. ColourPop just released these three. I don't think they were technically like a Valentine's Day collection, but they could be really fun for Valentine's Day or if you just like pink cheek products. All three of these are in the pearlized finish, which is so nice because it has a little bit of a satin sheen to it. So I just find that it looks really natural on the skin, but again, it's not too over the top. I feel like the problem with some cheek products is that they look full on glittery or shimmery. And if you have a lot of texture, it might really enhance that on your skin. And if you don't want to enhance that on your skin, something like this is a little bit nicer because it's very soft. It's a little bit more subtle, but you still get like that natural luminosity. Typically when I think of glowy makeup, I don't really think of eye makeup, but there are a lot of products that I reach for, for the eyes specifically, when I'm going for that type of look. The first thing is kind of similar to the blushes that I just recommended, but the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows are the best, especially if you're going for more of a skin-focused look. If you want the focus of your makeup to be on your complexion and your cheeks, but you just want to add something that coordinates well on the eyes, a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow is perfect perfect, especially one of their more shimmery finishes. I'm wearing one on my eyes today from the Raw Beauty Christie collab, which is no longer available. So I just wanted to mention a newer set that I've really been enjoying. This is the Sip Sip Hooray Super Shock Shadow Trio. And this comes with three really beautiful pink tones. I just think the Super Shock Shadows look so pretty and smooth on the eyes. I have one all over the lid. The only other shadow I'm wearing is like a matte shadow in the crease. And then I have a brown shadow on as liner today. This took me like three minutes. It was so quick and easy to do, but I just find that it opens up the eyes. It looks so good when you're going for more of a luminous or radiant look, and they just feel really good. Like they just apply easily. They stay in place well. And if you've tried them in the past and they didn't work for you, I recommend trying them again because I just find that the quality keeps getting better and better. The formula is so soft, really easy to work with. And I just find that the best way to apply them is with my finger. Just blend them all over the eye and I'm good to go. I recently tried tried Kaja eyeshadows and I am so late to the game. I've been wanting to try these for a while and I picked up two little stacks or two little trios. Now Kaja actually has full on shimmer trios. So if you're a big fan of shimmer shadow like me, these are so much fun because you can add a few pops of shimmer to your collection. I know some people prefer matte shadows or they like a mix of mattes and shimmers and they have some like that as well. But these trios are so perfect because you just get three coordinating shades. The shimmers in here are so intense. Again, you can just swipe them on with your finger. These are more of like a true powder formula. They're not quite as creamy as the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. So if those are a little bit too creamy for you, you might like these, but I just think they're so many and perfect for throwing in your makeup bag. These are nice because if you're someone who doesn't want to add like a full eyeshadow palette to your collection, but you want a couple of shades to switch it up and try something different, you might like one of these trios. And like I said, they do have some options that have two matte shadows and one shimmer as well. So if you want to get like a full on look with mattes and shimmers, you might like one of these. So let's move on to just a few lip products. Now there are so many lip products I could recommend, but I tend to be a little bit repetitive with like hydrating lip products that look really healthy and shiny on the 
lips. So I wanted to recommend two that I don't think that I've talked about. The first one is from Milani. This is a newer release. It is the Fruit Fetish Strawberry Melon Lip Oil. This is amazing. Lip oils in general are so nice because not only do they serve practical purposes, they leave your lips feeling really hydrated and really soft. They just look so pretty and glossy as well. And what I love about this one is that it almost deposits a little bit more color compared to other lip oils that I've tried. I wouldn't say it full on stains the lips, but as it wears off, I definitely notice a little bit more color, which I love because I find that I don't have to apply something over and over. I also find that this lip oil stays on a little bit better than other lip oils. It's not that it is sticky, but it really is more long lasting. It feels more hydrating. And I find that again, once the product wears off, my lips are left feeling really, really soft. So I just love the way this looks. It has like that true like popsicle look to it. And it's just so glossy and pretty. It smells amazing and it's really practical too. For the holiday season, Fourth Ray Beauty actually released these duos, but they're still available and these are so good. I feel like I don't really talk about lip exfoliators or lip balms as much, but they are so important if you want your lips looking really soft and smooth. So this is my favorite. It's the Very Berry Lip Duo, but they also have... I think like a vanilla scent and then there's another one maybe like a citrus one so you get a lip scrub and you also get a lip balm I like lip scrubs that come in this form because they're just a little bit easier to use so you just kind of apply it to the lips and it exfoliates them really nicely and then you get a lip balm this lip balm formula is super soft it feels like the fresh sugar balms I used to use those, but that brand isn't cruelty free. So if you want a good alternative, definitely check out this formula from Fourth Ray Beauty. These smell really good. They definitely have like a true berry scent. I guess a strawberry scent. Like I said, I didn't mention too many cream cheek products because I just really use the same ones that I have been using for a while. So I didn't want to be too repetitive, but I have to mention the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Glow Stick. Like if we're talking glowy products, this is such a staple. I don't typically love cream highlighters because I find that they can look a little bit unnatural on my skin, but this just melts in the skin in such a natural way and it gives you such an intense glow. I use this on days when I'm not wearing a makeup or wearing a lot of makeup. I use it on days when I am wearing a lot of makeup because either way it looks really pretty on the skin you can build it up to be a little bit more intense or you can sheer it out to be a little bit more subtle but because it melts into the skin in that natural way I just find that it's a little bit more versatile than other highlighting products that kind of sit on the skin so I love this one it's such a great option I wish elf would do more of these my favorite glowy SPF is this one from Tula. It's the Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel. This gives your skin like a true glowy effect, but it also protects your skin as well. It's obviously really important to wear SPF all year long, but I think the key is finding an SPF that works well for you because if you don't like the texture or the way that it feels on the skin, you're probably not going to reach for it as often. So I like to have a glowy option and a matte option depending on what look I'm going for. And this one is so nice because it gives your skin like a true true intense glow, but it feels really gentle on the skin. It doesn't have a strong sunscreen scent, but it still protects your skin, which is obviously the most important part. The last thing I wanted to mention is a concealer. I've talked about this concealer a lot on my channel, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. I have two shades, so I'll swatch them for you guys, but I think the reason why this concealer has been so surprising to me is because I just feel like a lot of concealers look very heavy, very matte on the skin. And what's nice about this one is that it dries down to like a slightly satin finish, but it definitely has like this natural luminosity to it that I don't get from other concealers. It's super creamy, it blends into the skin, it melts into the skin in such a pretty way, and it just glides over any texture, any problem area. So I find that when I use this concealer, it does give my skin like this natural almost lit from within glow that I don't get from other complexion products. So it's great to use alongside of more mattifying foundations, but also more luminous foundations as well because it just complements them really nicely. I love to use it under the eyes when my eyes are just looking a little bit dull and tired, but I also like using it as a spot concealer because it just gives my skin that really pretty true skin-like finish. So I definitely recommend checking this one out if you haven't already. I know I talk about it so much, but it's so, so good. Okay, that's everything I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. I hope this video was helpful if you are feeling like me and you just want some more glowy products in your life. These are great options, whether you have dry skin or oily skin. I do want to say thanks again to Wind for sponsoring today's video. I'll put the link and the coupon code in the description box below if you guys want to try out any of their products. And let me know which glowy products you've been loving, whether they are staples in your collection 
collection that you've had for years or their new discoveries, I would love to know because I feel like I've gotten into glowy products so much more over the past year or two. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you very soon with a new one. Bye.